decision of canceling school uh, would weigh on me heavily was the March 14th event that was really a national event, but yet it wasn't snowing everywhere in the country, but it was snowing pretty hard out my window. Um, and so I made it very clear that we would reschedule that we will, and we're going to line up on, on March 21st and, and do that. And all of our schools uh, will be part of that. Cameron just the other day I had a plan B already aligned, up, uh, you know, in case it snowed, and the students very successfully and, uh, and lifted their voice. We do all this for our kids. Everything we do, every decision I make is about that. And so I'm pleased to stand with those students uh, on March 21st when we do have that opportunity for them uh, to lift their voice. But I'm most excited about, we think about the teens that have this, uh, this voice, but I'm most excited about what our elementary students are doing and the message they're going to send to our community. That, that one is, I hope, that resonates with all of us is around kindness. Because what's been mentioned tonight it's policy and things that can be changed at various levels of federal or state legislature around background checks. Is it's my responsibility, it's my passion to make sure that our kids never have a background to be checked. That our kids are in a way of mental health competency, of mental health, a state of mind, a state of care and compassion for each other. I worry about that. I worry about the kinds of examples we set as adults for them, honestly. You know, a call to action tonight will be to sign papers, maybe sign petitions, maybe camp outside of a legislative office and, and demand action. But we can make the change now. 